Hello, the wonderful people of YouTube. Retro Rewinder here. And today is a very important today. Today is a very important today. Today is a very important day. It is currently Friday, and it is about 6.50 in the morning. And it's about 39 degrees, I think is what it said. So in the 30s. But the very important thing about today, it is the first day of garage sale season. Now me and Brandon, we've each hit one or two garage sales just that we happen to see. But today actually kicks off the fish, first official day because there is a, a community yard sale posted. Um, who knows how many will actually be open with it being so cold. It did uh, snow on Wednesday. So we're gonna see what we can find today. Hopefully we can find some stuff to make it worth going out. And we'll show you what we got while we're out. See you in a little bit. So me and Brandon are back from garage sales today and we did pretty good. So we're gonna go through the stuff we got. We also went to two Goodwills, one Salvation Army and a different garage sale that wasn't part of the neighborhood sales. So we're gonna start with the, we'll start with Salvation Army. Got a couple clothing items. Got this Coda Sunset. Uh, Rebel flag shirt. This was six dollars. I think we could probably get around thirty for that. A Ralph Lauren jeans pearl snap. It is new with the tag. Uh, they wanted ten bucks for this, and um, I was seeing used ones sell for around thirty. So we're gonna shoot like fifty maybe on that one. Also at Salvation Army. We got some shoes. All four of these pairs are brand new and they were each $10 each. So we got a pair of box here. Not gonna spend too much time on these. These are Sesto Miyuchi. This is probably the best pair from what we could tell is Keen. And lastly, a pair of Sperry's. And again, all of these are brand new. Lastly, at Salvation Army, we got this brand new Cinderella Royal Ball. And this was selling for like 80 bucks. Uh, a little bit of damage to the packaging here, but it still is sealed. And this one was $7. So this will pay for everything that we got at Salvation Army. We'll move on to Goodwill. This is just for my personal collection. And we got a couple t-shirts. This Western Tradition Arizona shirt. Uh, $2.99 on the Fruit of the Loom Best Tag. A pair of men's Rock Revivals. And normally they price up Rock Revivals to 20 bucks a piece. And these were the standard price of $7.99. And lastly, at the Goodwill, we got this cool Hanes Beefy Tag Silver Springs animal shirt, and it does have a back hit with the bird there on the back shoulder blade. Okay, moving on to the good stuff. We'll do the very best for last. This was 75 cents, I believe. It's just a standard big dog t-shirt. Probably throw that in the booth for like 12 bucks or so. This was a dollar. It has a couple small stains on there. Um, just the standard Nike hoodie stuff does pretty good in the flea market. Normally we ask for like anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks a piece. That one will probably be on the lower end with the stains. Another good flea market thing. We sell these for like five to 10. Squishmallow. We kind of made the decision that whenever we see these this summer uh, for a dollar or so, we're gonna buy all of them. Um, move on to this. We recently sold a lot of Bob and Tom CDs for $35 for a lot of nine. 
and we have another lot of nine and he originally wanted anywhere from one to two bucks a piece and we got this whole box for five dollars and a couple more things before we get into the really good stuff a nice youth carhartt camo jacket they originally wanted 10 they said they would take five this will most likely sell for us around the 30 to 40 dollar mark and a couple more things that are just going to be really for the flea market paid five bucks for this we normally sell these junk box cards for like 10 bucks a box and then lastly here i paid two dollars for these this box of comics um we're gonna put a dollar a piece on these and we have a guy that pretty much comes in and buys most of our comics at that price so all of these will go in there at a dollar a piece just need to get some um some sleeves for the comics and lastly this night of the living dead dvd for one dollar okay let's move on to the real reason we made this video the good stuff the very last sale that we went into this community yard sale was speaking to this gentleman and he told us that he had a backwards compatible ps3 and that they were going to bring it out next week because they didn't large semi uh, they were going to bring it out next week because they thought that there wasn't going to be a good enough turnout this week um, with how cold it was um, basically got him to start asking his wife to bring out the video game stuff because we told him we'd be interested in anything video game related and the first thing she brought out was this sweet nintendo nes bag these bags alone sell for like 30 bucks a piece um oh shoot we did not know these were in here bunch of manuals brandon so i'm gonna put brandon on the spot he's gonna be on camera he's gonna show you these manuals come on no we just had doctor power pad athletic world no we got that we do have that game uh looks like a poster yeah it looks like street fighter maybe Oh, it's the, yeah, Sega. Chippendale that's, Rescue. That's a good one. Willow. Super Mario 3. That's kind of cool. Duck Hunt. Mario Duck Hunt. King's Knight. Is that game in there? I didn't see that game in there. We have the game. I think it already has the main one, though. We uh oh. We have actually. That's the Bart Simpson poster. poster. Sports Baseball. Another poster. Disney Disney poster. Disney stuff. Sometimes these Disney things can actually sell though. That's kind of cool. It's Nintendo Power. Monopoly. Is the Uncle Festers. Yeah, Festers Quest. Sonic. Uh, Sonic. Sonic. Sonic 2. They thought they had a Game Gear, but uh, they couldn't find the Game Gear. They might actually have the Game Gear somewhere. Ooh, Battletoads. Battletoads. Another poster and we'll so see. some decent manuals to get and then inside the bag this is exactly how it was brought out to us we've got wheel of fortune which we have the manual for that and mario bros duck hunt and willow and fester's quest we have the manual for that one mario bros duck hunt and probably the best label for a Simpsons game I've seen. The, all these cartridges are in excellent condition, but Simpsons Bart vs. the Space Mutants. We got, unfortunately, not stadium events, but we do have Athletic World. And World Class Track Meet. Got Dr. Mario. We just sold this one complete in box in the flea market. A very nice condition of Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And we have the manual for that one as well. Home Alone 2. Monopoly. And last but not least, we've got Mario 3. 
And also in here, we had some random stuff like a three button Sega Genesis controller, the Zapper, and this is a programmable uh, controller for the Super Nintendo. And of course, we had to have the NES with it. No game in there. Uh, this is actually a pretty good looking condition console. So we'll get this cleaned up and we actually have a box for it as well. And somewhere mixed in with everything, we do have the power cord. That was the first thing that they brought out. We ended up offering $75 for this Nintendo with the bag. Pull this out. Yeah, we're done Don't with that. Yes, yeah, so all that's good. Uh, this is another thing that we got at the community sales. We missed out on some vintage hats, but uh, the reseller that was there did not want this penguin, and we paid two bucks for this blow mold penguin. We'll probably try to sell it for like 30, maybe 40, most likely 30 though. Uh, at that sale, this was actually the first thing that we bought. It's just a knife that we're gonna probably ask, you know, five, 10 bucks in the flea market booth. That's what started our conversation with this guy. This was the second thing they brought out. We got some Xbox games. We got the Namco Museum, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, NHL 2002, ESPN 2K5, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland and Tiger Woods. I did not check the discs on any of these. Uh, we got a PlayStation 3 network disc, NFL 2K World Series, Sonic Mega Collection, Need for Speed Underground, and a baseball game. With the Sega Genesis console, we recently priced one of these for 45 in our booth, which is kind of how we based our, our price off to purchase everything. Some more Xbox games. NBA, ESPN, uh, the, that is sealed. Tony Hawk's Underground sealed. We got some Sega Classics, Super Monaco, and Tournament Golf. Taz, Escape from Mars. These do feel like they are complete. Yep, they're complete. It looks like these people took great care of their games. We got Batman Returns. So that Tony Hawk's is about 30 bucks. We got, uh, this game's probably like $60 or so. David Robinson and Tournament Golf. Complete, it's probably worth that. Isn't that what you said? We got Jurassic Park and Mario Lemieux Hawker. Laurie, can't talk. Mario Lemieux, Lemieux Hockey. And probably the best game in all of this is Wonder Boy and Monster World. I did not even know this until we were going through these right now. It is worth money. Being complete, it's, I would guess maybe like 50 to 75. I could be totally wrong, but that's my guess. And last um, and least, we have Sports Talk Baseball. 62. So that's about $62 game right there. So everything that came out in this tub, we paid $50 for. So, you know, with the Tony Hawk's Underground and the Wonder Boy, we'll definitely do really well on that. Discs are clean. Discs are clean. I kind of expected them to be clean. Everything else was in really good shape. So, every time they would bring out something to us, the they'd say, well, we also have this other thing. Are you interested? And of course, it was always like, if it's video game related, we are interested. Um, Oh, forgot to mention, this actually came out with the NES stuff, so this was included in that $75 price. They then brought out this PS3. They said it does work great. This is the backwards compatible 80 gigabyte version. And when these work properly, these go for like $300. They brought out this with Army of Two, Portal, Hunted Demons Forge, and Star Wars. 
We got some Lord of the Rings uh, Lego and God of War Ascension. Some PS3 wireless controllers. And then he brought out this original Xbox. And we ended up paying, it was $75 for the PS3 with the, the games. And then I think I only paid 25. I thought it ended up being like 130 at some point. Yeah, 130 for that. Yeah. So I must, I think I offered 100 on the PlayStation and all the games, and then we paid 30 bucks for the Xbox. They weren't 100% sure if the Xbox worked. But if that, uh, that PS3 works as they said it did, that should pay for everything that we got pretty much all day, because we pulled out like $400 and we've got about $100 left. Is that everything? So that's everything that we got today. So for being the very first day of garage sale season and finding vintage video games, we're pretty happy with that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw. Make sure to give this video a like and please comment and subscribe and we'll talk to you next time.